Okay, I think we are basically ready to go. I don't see any issues. Let's get this going. Hi. Have any dreams? Us robots mostly dream of electric sheep. Alright, let me swap it over. And let's go. We got this. <clears throat> so Last time, on Battle Network 5, we did some grinding to get Bug Frags and Zenny to buy HP memories. We also got the S ranks on our... We also got the rest of the Mega Chips, which allowed us to get Omega Rocket. Then in Nebula 6, we were able to fight the Chaos Lord, and beating Chaos Lord gave us Meteor Knuckle, straight from Duo himself. Now, we need to get more HP memories. I did a little bit of grinding. There's that. Um, we need 84k now for bug fragments. So, yeah, okay. <coughs> so, the plan right now is to do some Zenny grinding. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna run. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking maybe the fastest route to get Zenny is the end area five trick. You know, let's test it out. Let's test it out. End area five is next to Undernet one anyway. We'll see how fast it is. Because the problem with Undernet... Let's close the door. The problem with Undernet is that it's very, like... Because it's a 3 out of 8 chance to get Zenny, I'm resetting a lot. Just to get it. But I'm thinking, oh, if I get good Zenny rewards, it builds up. But then I have to buy another lock enemy. So, let's try the end area 5 uh, strat. And see how fast that is. Because it, from what I read, it is uh, 1,800 zenny. You know, that's a decent amount. That's a decent amount of zenny. More than half than what we get here. But I'm just curious on how fast it will actually take, because you got enter the liberation mission, clear the panel, then retreat, rinse, repeat. Let's test it out. But once we're done with the Zenny grind, we have two things to do. It turns out, I looked it up, we have to fight Chaos Lord again. And we have to fight the base variant of Chaos Lord. So I'm reading it's like one of these. Can't we just do number check? Yeah, 18k. And then... Then retreat. Huh. We don't even need to actually do any fighting because of Number Man. Or Search Man. This might actually be faster. Yeah, just swap over to Number Man. Do the number check. Rid of the item panel, get the Zen. Yeah, okay. This is definitely faster. In that amount of time, we've just made more than probably getting one green mystery data in battle. And that's the thing. We have to run for the random encounter and hope we actually get the one with the green mystery data. So, yeah, I do think this is faster. However, if you are trying to get Zenny as well, 
do the undernet thing. If you're o if you only need money, then do this. This is definitely way faster. How much zenny do I have? Okay. Again, we need like 84k. This is gonna take a while. This will be faster. Zenny grind Zenny grinding, I see. Exactly. That is the grind right now. We are almost done. Actually, I should have Hold on. Maybe I, I I need to retitle this. I forgot to do this. Uh finale. We should be able to get this done today. Like, I, I don't see any reason we won't. I don't see any reason we won't get this done today. Because we got Zenny grinding for the last bit of HP memories that I'm missing. Then we gotta go get the last Giga Chip, which that is Chaos Lord when we fight base. And then we gotta fight base Omega. Now, base Omega will be trouble, but we'll have the rest of the time to take care of it. And then after that, it's refight Nebula Gray and to wrap it up, and that's it. This should be done. How's it going, Tyler? Been a while? What's been going on? For check. Uh, retreat. There we go. So, I s since we're probably gonna be since we're gonna be finishing this up today uh the next game i was planning to play was the thousand year door remake which is out today and some people are already playing it but because i am a fool that's like oh i like to get physical copies i have to get my physical copy or else i won't own it amazon didn't have it up on the store until literally like midnight today right so i got it ordered but it's saying it's not going to get here till like friday next week now i am hoping it will get here a lot sooner than that but it sounds like i'm gonna not be able to be playing thousand year door for probably about two weeks sweet playing pain of physical media yeah I know. But here's the, the annoying part is normally uh, Amazon just has it for pre-order. So you can then order it and it gets to you this, on the day of release. Roughly, right? But that's not the case here. Like, uh, this is the first time I've seen Amazon actually do this. But when I was talking to my friend the other day, he was telling me that I believe Nintendo specifically is having retailers like this not letting them not letting people pre-order to avoid scalpers just buying everything beforehand but that caused a different problem where now like i'm waiting about two weeks before I, and i say two weeks only because i will stream it and i probably won't be streaming until the monday after i get it So, yeah. It's weird. But, you know, because I'm the fool that likes to get physical media, I won't be playing Thousand Year Door for a little while. Unless I literally cancel the order and go to, the, go to a store and pick it up. That would be the... Yeah. That would be the other way. Let's 
see. So, if it is the case where Thousand Year Door is gonna be that late, I'm gonna have to uh, basically play it in between game. Something short, you know? Part of me is thinking of uh, Link to the Past randomizer. I don't really have too many games that I could that I could play that's like a one-off, so like I can only think of like randomizer Link to the Past or something. Because I'm playing Thousand Year Door and I don't really want to be playing like a big RPG just in time, you know, to overlap. Maybe there's some other ideas for other games to play, but that's just kind of what's on my mind right now. But yeah, that's uh, what's been going on on my end, more or less. What's going on on your end, Tyler? Let's see. No, nope. we got a ways to go. 84k. 84k. It's gonna take a while. This definitely is faster than the underneck grind. It is really repetitive. Woke up late today. Started getting back into music making. And inspiration struck last night at like 1 a.m. <laughs> don't, don't you hate it when you're laying in bed, you're about to sleep, and then your brain's like, here's this cool idea. You're like, oh my god, that is a cool idea. And now you can't sleep. That very that happens sometimes. But yeah, uh, very nice. If you don't mind, what's the music idea? I know not, not really nothing of music, but, you know, I've got more to continue the conversation, I guess. What's the music idea, if you don't mind, Sharon? I think I'll mention this again, but the only thing I guess I won't be doing, unless, uh, I mean, I could check, but I probably won't be doing the crossover points for Boktai stuff. To get those points, you have to net battle real people. So, I don't know. I, so, I guess I probably won't be doing that. But that's, like, the only thing I won't be doing. Working towards weird, glitchy-sounding electronic stuff. The subject to change, though. Hmm. So kind of like techno, but if it was affected by missing now. Okay. And maybe. Maybe that could work. I don't know. I'm not a music person, like I said, but yeah. Missing no affected the techno beats. Industrial would be the closest to the genre you're going for. Hmm. Interesting. And are you just making a song? Or just like a funky beat? Listen, chat, I do some of this grind on stream because you need to understand the Battle Network 5 experience. 
I did some of it off stream, but you gotta suffer with me. So far, I'm just kind of experimenting to get back in the groove of things. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, okay, just kind of dabble your toes back into it. I see. But it sounds like it's uh, being productive, that's for sure. <laughs> I am terrible about being productive. I have like, I don't know, three pro th like three things that I should be productive with, but then like, I'm never productive, so. It's rare when I do feel like I am productive. Like for example, uh, I don't know if you were there for when I was doing these streams, or maybe that's when you showed up, I don't remember. Uh, when I was doing the Fire Emblem Iron Weapon Only run, I am trying to like, make like a a video that basically talks about the process sort of thing basically like a, a a single video that talks about the whole thing you know so you can watch that instead of watching you know the 20 hour sets of streams you know you know what i mean and i am so bad at like being productive about working on that uh just read the unofficial release oh good thing there's no break next Hey, act. Wait, I thought there was supposed to be a break for the new One Piece chapter. And I know you say it's unofficial, but like, I thought there was supposed to be a break. I used to be back in high school, using your PC keyboard to play notes. That's awful. <laughs> I didn't make too much. I see. So, what? Do you have more profe more professional equipment to make that sort of thing? Uh, so far, I'm just kind of experimenting. Oh yeah, I read that. Huh. I thought I thought I read there was a break. Hold on. Let me check something. Uh one piece, one piece. There it is. Oh, okay, no, I'm I must have misread. Yeah, there there isn't a break. But without telling me the details act, is it good? Do we get some answers? Or are there more questions now? Don't be specific. <laughs> be as vague as possible. I would die of eagerness if there was a break next week. Okay. That's something to go on. I'll just answer yes. Okay. And you know what? That's probably the correct answer. That is probably the correct answer for it. It's One Piece. It is probably the right answer. Uh, but, uh, so... I'll bring this up again, Act, but, uh... Or, I'm gonna say this again. I ordered Thousand Year Door on Amazon. Uh, but it seems like it's not going to get here till, like, next Friday is what it's saying. I don't know why it'll be that late. But, uh, it basically means I won't be streaming Thousand Year Door for probably till the Monday after I get it. Depending on when it gets here. Unless I literally go to a store to pick it up. Because I'm the fool that gets physical collectors. Or physical media. So... If that is the case, where I'm going to be getting it very late, I'll probably be doing something like Leak to the Past Randomizer, it's just some small games, until I get Thousand Year Door. So that's kind of the plan right now. Yeah. Now the real question act is, will I leave my house and go to a store? But yeah. That's the real question. Maybe I will, because it's a little ridiculous. But I'm invested in an actual music keyboard. You became with some nice software, too. Oh, very nice, so... Very nice. And we leave my house to go for a walk. You know, that is actually what all I do, too. <laughs> Pretty much. And we buy most things via Amazon, too. Mm -hmm. Special... Very professional music program, which I have never had the luxury of using. Is it a good music program? Considering that uh, it came with the keyboard. 
Or is there like a better music program that you might consider upgrading once you feel like the money is right? You just crush me so you don't have to. Oh no. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay, that was weird. The game's music kind of like glitched out for a little bit. That was that was the game's end. That was not the stream. That was the game's end. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, uh I, Yeah, I couldn't order Thousand Year Door until literally midnight today on Amazon. And I think what my friend told me was that, or what might have happened is that Nintendo is like telling these retailers, don't let people pre-order it. We want to avoid scalpers. And so that's why we weren't able to order it on Amazon until literally this morning. But because of that, uh, the shipments are going to be way later. So I won't be getting it on the same day. Maybe I was way too late on pre-ordering, and they already had the pre-orders beforehand, and they're just waiting for the new shipments. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see how it goes. There might be a delay for me for Thousand Year Door. Uh, or I might, if I go to a store and find it there, I'll pick that up and then cancel the Amazon order. But this is because I'm the fool that gets physical copies. But yeah. But yeah, about being productive. So one of the things I was being productive is try to make the basically more or less compilation video for the Fire Emblem Iron Weapon Only run, I am very slow to work on it. And so, I, most of the time I am not productive, <laughs> but I need to be productive. So it's a trade-off. Not all, there's that. Then there's the fact that I need to just draw more often just to get to it sort of thing. And I'm not productive on just getting to drawing. So that's another thing that I'm like mad at myself that I need to be more productive on just to draw more, just just to do it. So sometimes when I do be productive, I have to make a decision. What do I mean? What do I need to be productive with? I really like the wolf code program. The keyboard is actually designed to work with it with minimal mouse usage with the godsend. Oh, okay. So if you were to get like a different music program, that might be better. Uh, it doesn't work the same way with the keyboard as your current one does. So you'll probably be constantly swapping between mouse and keyboard just to do things. I see. Yeah, I, I, I just like to prefer to get physical media when I can. I mean, there's exceptions, like... I, I, I'm not 100% physical. There are some games where I'm like, yeah, I'll just get di this digitally, sort of thing. But, in general, I typically get physical media. Help! These collections, I, I get digital. But that's also part of it is... I have the actual GBA cartridges, so... You know, it's also fairy industry. I say fairly because it's the light version. Is still uh, okay. I'm assuming the light version. You mean the program, not the keyboard? Or do you mean the keyboard is like a smaller variant of a keyboard? The program. Okay. Is the light version basically? Not a free trial, but it has less, uh, less stuff you can use unless you, like, pay for the full version. Pretty 
much the same, just a little less for those. Okay. We're getting close to getting all the money. This did not take that long. Some effects missing, but the work pro is pretty much unchanged. So, yeah, if you pay for the full version, you'll get some effects. That you can't get without it. But you could do a lot without getting the full version. Right. So use free plugins to offset that anyways. <laughs> ah, the workarounds. Yeah, so there are alternate ways to work around a lot of this. We're almost done with the money grind. Just a few more of these. And then we'll be able to buy all the HP memories. This is going a lot fa faster than I thought. If we complete fast enough, I'll see if I can do any net battles. And if I can find anyone. If I can't, then I guess... I don't know. Find a different game to play in the meantime. Just, like, for the rest of the stream. That is pretty hard to beat. May I ask, uh, roughly how much did that cost for, to get the keyboard? Probably a couple hundred. Is this it? with Mega Man. I will act. We're almost done. We have the money. We can get the last of our HP memories. And then it's off to fight base on two separate occasions. And then the final boss again and then we're completely done. Just want to pop in and hype up. Oh. Uh, you want to tease me with the new One Piece. I see. Because I'm the fool that's like, no. I want to support the official release. So I wait couple more days before you <laughs> or after you I should say because I'm the fool but yeah anyway I'll read it eventually but yeah have a good day act like I said I will get to thousand year door in the not too distant future we'll see when I will though if in the meantime if I don't get to it in time we'll probably just do like I don't know link to the past randomizer until I get to thousand get thousand year door but yeah We're almost done. It's about, oh, a little over a hundred bucks. That's actually not that bad. If you are someone that's into music making, that's actually not that bad to get into. Or it doesn't sound that bad anyway, as someone who doesn't do music at all. Seeing the software instruments that cost more, though. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You, like that's that sounds like a good like entry level like you you want to get into this sort of thing, or you're already into this sort of thing. You really want to get started. Oh yeah, there's like one other like project where I feel like I need to be more productive in, but I have not, like, touched this program in a while. Uh, you know what, we'll do that for a second. Uh, there was, there was a part of me that wanted to try to make a, 
make a game, right? And I dabbled with, uh, what was it, uh, GB Studio. It's basically a program that lets you make Game Boy games. And I tried, uh, I, I tried to make a, like, just to dabble with it. I was trying to do, like, a demake of a game, just to mess around with it. And I only did, like, a day with it. I made a, basically, a song in the demake, in the Game Boy star style. That was kind of fun. But I haven't touched it since. Like, the next part I would need to do is basically make... I was trying... I was going to try to make, like, the titles, the title screen. But then I, I just don't know how to make the sprites. And either I have to, like, make the sprites in, like, Krita in the, dig the free digital art program. But that's a lot harder to do. Or I need to spend a little bit of money to get, like, a, uh, like a good sprite editor. Not sprite editor, but a sprite maker sheet program. And, well, there's a sun that bad. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't know if I should buy it or not. Because to me, it's like, will I work on the project if I buy the Sprite Maker? Or is it one of those things where I need to be more interested in making the project to warrant buying the Sprite Maker program? You know what I mean? So that's why I'm kind of like hit and miss with it. But that's another aspect of my off time where I feel like I need to be productive in something. You kind of see my problem here? Whenever I feel like I need to be productive, I have my attention split between like two or three different aspects. And that's if I'm not distracted by video games. Very good entry level choice. It's portable on the smaller side and it comes with pretty much all the software you need to get started. Very cool, very cool. Oh wait, what am I doing? I need to go the other way. Oh yeah, with the D-Make idea, I was going to do like the first couple areas just to be like, dabble my feet into the idea. Basically make a quote-unquote demo. But like, as soon as I get to the point where I'm trying to make the sprite stuff, I don't know. I just feel like I don't have the right tools, so I kind of just quit, I guess. But there's a part of me that wants to try to work on it. But there's also that other part of me that's, like, very distracted. By the way, max HP, we're done with that. We're done with the money grind. Yay. Now for the last two things. Actually, we can now open a uh, door in Nebula 4. We can open a door in Nebula 4, and we can do that on the way to sit. Nebula 6. We're almost done. We're getting close. That's one more step closer. We don't need anything else. Let's just get moving. Okay, Nebula 3. And again, there's a lot of... There are other things I could be doing in this game if I wanted to. I could try to get better records on... You know, the Nebula 4. Just to make their chips stronger. Uh, I can't do these. I would have to record compare with someone else for those, but eh, I don't know. It's kind of weird how this game lets you get like all the chips with for the Nebula 4. That's what I call them. Without needing to actually fight them. You know, outside of the Liberation missions. Except for like Blizzard Man Dark Soul. No. No, it's Cosmo Man Dark Soul. Wait, no, you could get that through the Liberation Mission as well. Never mind. Yeah, like every chip, at, at the Nebula Four, you could get without actually fighting them in the in the net. It doesn't feel like a cheap keyboard either. This company is known for their keys and field shows. Okay, so it, that's that's pretty good. That's one thing that you probably have to worry about. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Let's 
save. Do I have... I have two full energies. That's good. I probably want both of them. I don't think I'll need more than two. Maybe I'll buy one more after this Nebula 6 run, but we'll see. <laughs> Make sure to follow my link to get 0% off your order. Exactly, because I am not sponsored. You think I'm big enough to get a sponsor? Please, I only get a few ver viewers per stream. I'm not big enough to get a sponsor. But yeah. <laughs> Power's been shown. All HP memories and all this for the Z Saber. Okay. If I am correct, we got one through the lotto code. And if I and if that is correct, that does mean to get Omega Rocket without knowing any lotto numbers, you need to max out on your HP and get all program advances. To get all 40 mega chips. Because then we won't have to pay for the keyboard. <laughs> I know, right? But yeah, uh, okay. All of that for a chip I already have. But I have two of them now, so that's nice. Off to Nebula 6. Wrong way. Up here. Here's Nebula 5. Make a save. Yeah, if you do this liberation mission and you just make it on, like, basically on time to take down Cosmo Man, uh, then you'll get Cosmo Man Dark Soul. You'll get the Cosmo Man Dark Soul chip. So yeah, you get the Nebula Four. You do not need to actually fight in the actual internet, or the internet areas, I should say. You can basically get it all done either through liberation missions, or you get the and you also get the bad folder, or the evil folder. Okay. So we have to fight Chaos Lord again. We need to f fight all six. We can't be too fast or too slow, but I'm going to be honest. I need to treat this as fast as I can because I don't have the best folder and I probably won't get un the under two minutes anyway. So. Let's do this. Okay. Ah, he kept going. All right, what's next? Um, I don't have, don't have enough of those. Don't have. I only have one for those. So let's get rid of these, these three. Ooh. Who cares about uh, ranks? That doesn't matter. It's two out of three. Let's have them ready to be confused. All right, program advance. Bodyguard. It's not enough to kill to take him out. Now it is. All right. One down, five to go. I'll be impressed if I get the fastest time, but I doubt I will. Nightman usually causes that problem. Um, Dark Toad Man. Let's get rid of these. If 
Fast Gauge. Uh, I messed that up. What did he set up? Anti-damage, of course. Oh, and Cross Divide. Thanks, you cheater. <laughs> Another Cross Divide? Really? Is one not enough? I might reset just to get my health back. Come on, this is ridiculous. Okay, he's jumping again. Um... Okay. Let's do this. I don't have air shoes right now. Air shoes would actually be very helpful. Set up in this. Okay. Uh, still don't have Muramasa. I'm getting my health back. This is a little ridiculous. We're trying this again. I don't need to try to go for a 1 HP run, you know. Alright. Similar setup. Let's... Let's do this. Okay. Fast gauge. In this. So that way I'm safe. There we go. Okay, I'm not going for it again. Uh, number soul. Let's use Chaos Lord. Get dunked. Now he's trapped. He can't move. Okay. Let's go this route. Shadow- oh, Shadow Man, you cheater. I really should throw my, uh... Uh, my recovery back in. My recovery 300. Oh my god. Fine, you did that to yourself. That's on you. Okay, what do we got? Bodyguard? I mean, it's okay. But we got it. Program Vance. Bodyguard. I'll take it. There we go. Honestly, Nightman's very annoying. Or I should say Dark Nightman's very annoying. Okay. We are on Shadow Man. I am gonna throw in Anti-Fire. Because I can actually use that with Shadow Man and Tomahawk Man. All right, let's try this. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Uh, we can start with number. Fast gauge guardian. Okay, let's see. What does he do? Let's try this. I don't like this. Well, we got the Guardian set up. Let's... Let's do this. And we'll get rid of... This. Okay, I tried attacking way too soon. Well, that was anti-damage. <laughs> Cheater. Alright. I'll set my own stuff up. Alright. 
Anti fire. I lucked out there. Okay. Anti damage, anti navi. Muramasa. Plus 30. My own anti damage. Bodyguard. I'm going to set up my anti-damage as my safety net. There we go. That's done. Let's make a save. Off to Tomahawk Man. I'm going to need healing soon. I'm going to make it work, I swear. Okay, Tomahawk Man, what do we got? Um, let's start with Scully, this, and that. I won't use the whole thing, because I know I won't be able to use it all. Get confused. Okay. In Invis. Anti-fire? No, I, I don't see it. Okay, number man, number soul. Leader Raid. Let's see how this goes. Well, oh, that's anti damage. There we go. Anti fire. I think I can make this work. And. Because the meteors are still activated. Perfect. That's 400. Uh, he cheated. He used freaking... <sighs> and there's air hockey. Okay. He cheated. He, he used... Uh, what was it? He used fire hit on me to stop my attack. <laughs> Cheater. Let's try that again. All right, number soul. We'll use the whole thing. I was doing pretty good. Um, is he even gonna hit that? Well, either way, L, M, and N. Cactus Dance 3. Let's hope it does not hit the Guardian. Let's try it. Okay. I lucked out there. The totem pole ended. So, I think what I should do now... Is... Scully... No, uh, yeah, okay. Do this. We have anti-fire ready to go, but that's probably not going to do anything. Uh, and then that's going to hit me. I knew that was gonna happen. I just knew. I just knew I was gonna. I was gonna lose because of Guardian and, and Anti Fire. Okay, try it again. Um, Dark Wide and Shadow Man. Sure, let's just use it up. Fast Gauge, Invis. I got two wide shots. Your Shadow Man. Okay. Program Advance Bodyguard. It's 
not enough to KO, and he also has super armor. So... And also the invincibility right there. L, M, and N. Program Advanced Cactus Dance 3. That really didn't do much for me. Oh, why'd I move up? I moved right. Damn it. I did not move up. I did not do it. I did not. Oh, hi, Taylor. <laughs> okay. Number Soul. Shade Man. Shadow Man. There we go. Get, oh, of course, I got trapped with the air hockey. Now let's use all this. Invis? Oh, come on. My invis got wasted. Good. Okay. Anti fire. Invis. And then Chaos Lord. that. Invis. And we're just waiting. There it is. So. No hit run? Nah, I have two full energies. I'm gonna use it. I have to- I'll have to leave the net anyway. Alright, number man. Let's go. Dark toad man. Start with this. Sure, we'll use- we'll throw in the guardian. Okay, fast gauge. Invis. Charging too soon. Cheater, he used it twice. I'm fine. Okay. Wow, he is just really going on the un offensive. It's a good thing I had in this. It's a really good thing I had in this. Okay. Let's get him confused. Yes! Perfect. Punch him. Punch him. Fusion. Perfect. Okay. Uh, number soul. Invis. Leer Ray. Wait. There we go. Get rid of a lot of chips. Die damage. Get that set up. Invis. Leader raid. Okay. Chaos Lord. You're done. Get out of here. Chaos Lord is so good. Alright, last one. I'm putting Anti-Electric back in. Anti-Electric. There's that. Okay. I think I could save Tomahawk Man for a little later. I guess I'll hit him with Dark Toad Man. Just to get rid of 
get rid of this, and it's 300 damage. But I have a feeling I might reset it. There we go. That's another 300. Number soul. Let's get rid of all... I meant to get rid of all of them, but no, I'm getting rid of three now, apparently. You fool! You can't set the Guardian up there! Okay, whatever. Uh, Anti-electric. Hold on. Wait, I think I hit him. So, anti-electric, invis, shadow man. We'll do that. Let's get this set up. That's 400 damage. Alright. It's not ready yet. Come on, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, program advance. Bodyguard. If he's not gonna use his electric move, then he's going to die by bodyguard. That's the thing about Toad Man. If you have a multi-hit move, he'll just get out of it. It's very hard to hit him with a multi-hit move. Alright. Let's hope that is enough. Let's hope I did the right amount of time. Because I made the save. No, I'm not keeping this. I'm going to keep going. All right. Let's see. Man, that's some power em em emanating from that vortex. Oh, come out. It could be crushed by this pressure. Here it comes. It is... Battle against me. Good, it's base. This is what we're looking for. I must taste this power that has awakened me. Lan! There, there's no way out. Ready, Mega Man? Power routine set? Execute. This shall be fun. Chaos Lord, or otherwise in this form, it's base uh, beta. So, this is the fight we wanted. Let's get him confused. And then we'll hit him with fire hits. And you gotta realize, Confusion is actually really good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's next? Yeah, I'll use this up. Number Soul. Let's get Shadow Man, and let's get rid of this. Anti-Electric is not gonna actually help me. Yeah, no, none of that base. We're not having any of that. Okay. I can have a safety net. Okay, I can have my own anti-damage safety net. I can invis. We'll do this. Invis, leader raid. Go. That's something. Oh. Maybe I should have had float shoe equipped. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Oh, do I use this? Wait, I got one more turn. I got one more turn. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Before I do that. Yeah, let's do this. Confused. Get him confused again. Invis. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Dark number man. Uh, and then we could do this. Bodyguard. We have the plus ten. 
then plus oh it just that makes it 50 not 60 okay with that set up now l m and n cactus dance Come on, hit him! Chaos Lord. There we go. And that's that. We get Bass and Ally and I don't know what that's abbreviated to. Or base. I called him Bass! That's how I used to call him! <laughs> so you've show so you so you've the power to counteract evil. I must get the power of absolute evil. He's gone. That was some power. Now yeah, one false move, and we'd been toast. We gotta keep getting stronger. Strong enough to be to be any evil. I could get stronger because of you, Lan. Strong enough to be any old evil. Not new evil, though. That's that's not enough, you know. Got that right. And with that, that is the last Giga Chip. There are six in this game, which feels odd. There's almost it's like always five, except for Battle Network 5. It wants to be special. Wait, hold on. Let me look at the damage output. It hits four times. Single target. Um, Single target wise. I don't know if it would work on Nebula Grey. However, 160. 640? This is now better than Chaos Lord. Single target. This will deal more than Chaos Lord, and when you have like stuff like Attack Plus 30, it's even better. This is now the best chip. That's now the best Giga chip. Alright, now we need to leave. Um, I am going to buy another full energy, if I have the money. Just to have. I have a feeling I might need it. And we buy them at Scilab. Let's do that. Yes, I'll take a look. Full energy, there we go. I just had enough. So I'm gonna make a save. Return to the title screen. And as you can see, we have all Giga Chips. There is one more symbol left to get. But because we have fought... We fought, uh... Chaos Lord Disguise's base. We now got one more fight. And it's in Nebula 6, and it's a random encounter. We did have to leave the net for it to... For him to show up, so we had to at least do that. So one more trip to Nebula 6. We're almost done with this. I can't think of anything else to do other than maybe net battle. Hmm. But I think other than that, we basically did everything. Sure, we'll use my last untrap. Open any green mystery, green mystery data along the way. There, that's enough for another full energy. Zenny. 
that I don't really need. Well, this is interesting. At least now, when we go to uh, Nebula 6, we don't need to fight the Dark... Uh... We don't need to fight the Dark Navvies again. And that did not go well. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, I just need to go to Nebula 6 and just start wandering around until... Until base shows up. Spoilers, it's base if I didn't say it already. Because it's always base, you know. Now granted, there is one other fight we could do, but... So, with the Chaos Lord... Actually, in, I guess in some ways there's two fights, but I don't know. They're not required. Like, for Chaos Lord, if you get the lowest time when fighting all six of the Dark Soul navvies, you'll fight uh, Nebula Grey again. The first time we run into Chaos Lord, that would have been Nebula Grey Alpha. Basically, more HP, more damage. If we were to fight him now, uh, with the lowest time, basically uh, it takes more than three minutes, then uh, we're technically fighting Nebula Grey Beta. Basically just more HP. He's just now H a bigger HP sponge. However, if we beat the six Navis and we get a time, a combined time of under two minutes... We could fight Dark Mega Man as a Chaos Lord fight. However, there isn't, as far as I can tell, there isn't a reason to actually do it. You don't get any, as far as I can tell, you don't get anything out of it. Hell, you don't even get anything out of fighting Nebula Grey again. You fought him the once for the first time in Nebula 6, and you got... And for your troubles, you got Meteor Knuckle, or Big Hook. You do it again, you get an average time, you fight base, you get uh, the base chip. And there's no reason to fight Dark Mega Man. I guess, just for bragging rights, I guess. But there's no reason to fight him. Except if you want, like, extra dialogue, I guess. What? Imagine if there was, like, another Giga Chip or something, and you had to get it from fighting Dark Mega Man. That would be mean. That would require you to f beat the Dark Navvies. Like, it, it pretty much means just get the program advances on turn one or two, like, that fast. A strategy better than what my current folder act already is. And I'm not saying my folder's that great. <laughs> okay, Nebula 6. We made it. Made it back. And I'm near full health. I'm okay. So, let's just hang out and check for random encounters. Oh no, I can't run. Whatever shall I do about it? Can I run now? Thank you. Hey, I'm doing good, Sophie. Uh, we are almost done with Battle Network 5. We, I right now just have to do, I have to fight Base Omega and that's it. And then after Base Omega, it's refight Nebula Grey and that's it. Is David going so far? Just okay. Uh, 
been basically just playing this for a little over an hour right now. Not much else going on. Uh... Oh no, fire enemies! Can I run? Good. Stream going? It's going fine. Like, uh, no crashes so far, knock on wood. You know? No crashes so far. So it, that's how you know it's a good day at the moment. <laughs> when no technical issues, you know, happen. But yeah, so... Uh, no audio issues as far as I know, no crashes so far, you know, this is good. it's an okay stream so far. It's a pretty good stream. Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. Yeah, we're om I'm almost done with Battle Network 5. Just gotta find base and beat him. But he's a random encounter. Do I daily stream? Monday through Friday, noon Pacific time is my schedule. Uh, I, I minimum I do two hours, but I try to go a little bit longer. Uh, I kind of do a variety of games, kind of. Like for example, after I'm done with this, I plan to do Thousand Year Door when I get my copy. I might have to do a few games in between, but that's the plan. Then after Thousand Year Door probably go back to Battle Network. Favorite game? Oh, I can't answer that. And look, base is here. That's great. Let's see if we can beat him. Let's go number soul. Uh, have you played ba any of the Battle Network games, Sophie? Okay, so let's start with getting him confused. I just can't pick a favorite game. Like, re-ask that question, but narrow it down to franchise sort of thing. Like, I I can't broadly say favorite game. Ooh, ooh, hold on. L, M, and N. Program Advanced Cactus Dance 3. Minus my, Minecraft, okay. I've tried Minecraft. I could not get into it. I don't hate it. I It's just not for me. But it's... Um, plenty of people love it, so good for you. You know, good on you, I guess. Invis, leader raid, let's get rid of these wide sword long swords, I mean. Come on. Whoa. Oh no. Okay, good. I'm not gonna make this. Thanks for the follow, Sophie. It's very appreciated. I do like seeing the follow number go up. It's like a level up for me. But then I sometimes level down like Final Fantasy XI. Anyway. Uh, program Advance. Wait, no, no, no. Let's save that. Let's save that for a second. What's the best way to handle this? Oh, it's going to be a bit before I get dark. Uh... I get Dark Number Man, but I think I need to save it for this. Uh, I'm Washington State, Sophie. Washington State. East, uh, West Coast. I almost said East Coast, but... Alright. Dark Toad Man. Let's have my safety net. And let's get him confused. Safety net. Uh, dang it, I knew that was going to happen. VA. Interesting. How is it over there? Well, we lost to base, now it's to find him again. Virginia. Yeah, how is it over there?
Anyway, I asked earlier, have you played any Battle Network game before? Or were you just scrolling through Retro and just saw me here? You should get some stuff for my stream to make it look more attractive than this. I, kn I know. <laughs> I know. I am currently in the talks to someone with talking about getting a logo and a banner currently. But uh, I'm talking to a different friend about getting a proper design for Scottbot, if, if that makes sense. So, need that first. I'm kind of in the talks with get, about getting a logo and banner at the moment, so... I mean, any other suggestions will be appreciated, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing. I just kind of boot the stream up and play some games. That's just kind of how I do things. I just hope people show up. How so, Sophie? How so? Still not here yet. Yeah, I do have a Discord. I do have one. Um, I could try to link it. Well, like I said, currently in the works about artwork stuff, basically. This is to, I guess, the Discord for this channel, even though I barely use it, I just made it anyway. So that's a way. It's just how I do things, I guess. I don't know. I need to actually use Discord more, though. <laughs> I need to figure out a way to, you know. You know, I just get antisocial, you know? Where is he? Where's base? He was so eager to fight me last time, and now he's running away like a coward. I'm thinking of using my full energy, though. I'm running away from most of these fights. Never mind. Okay, hold on. Okay. Full energy. I still have a lock enemy, but I don't think that's needed. Because we don't need to get the chip from him. We just need to beat him. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, there is actually a harder version. Okay, he just wanted... Uh, base just wanted me to be at max power. Okay. I uh, He wants a, a, like a fair fight. I, I'm okay with that. Confused. Okay. I think I need to save this for either uh, Mura, no, Bodyguard, or I need to save it for base, the base chip. 
I should I had Scully. Dang it. Okay, uh number soul anti damage invis leader raid. Anti damage. Let's give it a second. Invis leader raid. Okay. We have Dark Number Man, but I can't use it yet, or don't want to. Okay. Scully, let's use this up right here. Okay. Alright. Okay, I messed that up. Oh well. We almost have enough for that. I feel like I need to save my attack pluses. Because I can use like these, these two for base, and I can use this for bodyguard or vice versa. So. Let's do this. I need, like, everything, every chip that I need. Yeah. Okay. Invis. Okay, what do we got? Guardian? Ugh. Dark Toad Man. We'll set up the Guardian. I guess that's what I have to do. Guardian. Okay. Punisher. Good. Oh, okay. Well, I used up my anti damage. Is how useful is Cactus Dance going to be? I think it's going to be pretty useful. Let's. Okay. L, M, and N. I gotta wait for him to attack, though. Okay. There we go. There's that. Next up. Okay. I have a few seconds. Let's think about this. Four. I'm gonna do some math. <laughs> okay. So I can either do a plus 40. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, I think it's better to do the... So it would be 120 times 10. Okay. Dark number, man. And we'll do bodyguard. Okay. Bodyguard? I was right there. Damn it. I was right there. I just needed to activate it like a, like a second sooner. I would have had that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that. That was... Mm, I almost had that. Okay. It can be done. I need to save my dark my dark number man for uh I, I i'm sorry i need to save it for bodyguard 
and I need to save my plus 40 for base. And I can use one of my... I can use one of my plus 10s for Number Soul. Nothing here. Wait, let's, let's see if I can run. Come on, where are we? Where are you, base? That was so close. Like, I am so upset. Like if I was just if I just mashed the A button, I probably would have gotten it. No, just see if I can run. Check if I can run. Always do that first. Okay. Oh, so close. Don't worry. We'll find him. And when we do, we'll end him. Okay, good. Keep on running away until we find base. Maybe base just thinks running away is the coward's way out. And I'm just like, no, I want to fight him at peak condition. Here somewhere. Just gotta find him. He doesn't want to fight me anymore. He really doesn't. But yeah, that was a good run. I almost had that. I could... Actually, you know what I should do. The next time I need to reset, I think I'll, re I'll replace my anti-electric. I don't think I have another invis. So I think I'll replace it with maybe another anti-damage. Or I could replace it with another cactaball. Even if it's the level 1 variant give myself a potential way of healing. Yeah, yeah let's try that. Okay. Let's see. Do I have... Invis? Do I have another one? I do not. So I should look for... Hold on, do I have a, uh... Star code? Not that it matters. Anti wood. I didn't buy any boomerang stars, did I? Okay, I'm going to throw in anti-wood. And it's only used to go into Tomahawk Soul. If I need it. Why a star code? Why not? <laughs> Why not a star code? And I believe Cactus Dance... 
No, I don't think it would get a power-up, but still. By to be able to turn everything into grass tiles, and he only breaks the ground... Well, he has two moves that could break the ground. So I might be able to keep the healing up. We'll see. And hell, maybe I can deal more damage with Fire Hit. What, what do we got? Nothing. Let me run. Thank you. Come on, where is he? Now that he's beaten me twice, he just doesn't want to show up. He's like, nah. I, I, I've got my enough wins already. I, I don't have anything to prove. It's a base! I have come to bargain! But what I was going to say, there is actually a different form of base in the random encounters you could fight. I think this is like in Battle Network 4. Um, where it's like base... Double X, I believe? And I believe to fight this one, you have to, like, have, like, evil karma or something. You know, be evil Mega Man, basically, using a lot of dark chips, I guess. And I guess base will have 4,000 HP. You know? Yeah, he's here somewhere, just gotta find him. There he is. Okay. Um, let's get him confused. I'm going to save my attack plus 30. Okay. Mess that up. Okay, he's in the back. L, M, and N. Cactus Dance 3. Okay, he's attacking me. Um. No, hold on, hold on. I think. Oh, did I do too soon? Too soon. Oh, that was close, but man, I wish I saved Leader Raid. Okay. Oh no, I'm trapped. I'm dumb. Dark Toad Man. Oh, okay. Invis. And yeah, I, uh, that did not go well. Try that again. It's just like, that was even worse than last time. You suck, Mega Man. Be like, yeah, I do. Let's see. I had a feeling this part would take a while because I would lose to base a few times. And so far I'm right. <laughs> but we're still under time. No, nope. no base. Our base have 
belong to us. Yep, gotta do this again. Yeah, this, that second attempt was my best one so far. And you know what? If I did longsword first, I probably would have hit him. It might have been a counter, and I probably could have used leader raid. But no, I mashed the button too quickly with leader raid. And he was still technically in his invincibility frame. Because he has that when he moves, because he cheats. But yeah. Throwing anti-wood to go into Tomahawk Soul is probably a good idea. As long as I catch that he's using his, like... Earthbreaker and just get into the back corner. I could probably keep the front, uh, the front column with grass tiles. So it'll probably be okay. Where is he? Base, where are you? I'm hunting you down. No good, camera. this going. <sighs> Just one more fight and we're done, but no. I have to, I had to mess up that second fight and not mash bodyguard. I should have got that going because there's a delay. Not, but I'm like, no, I need to wait for Cactus Dance to end. Yeah, so I think using my plus 50 on bodyguard and then using a total of plus 40 on base is the best use of my of my uh, additive chips. Ideally, if I am in number soul already, then I can make base uh, the base chip a total of plus 50. Because it's a neutral chip, so. But at least getting a plus 40 for the base chip will be good. That's 200 damage per hit. If I at least get the, the plus 30. Hits four times, 800 damage. Yeah. Uh, I can't run. Base is just not wanting to show up right now. He's hiding from me. Like a true coward. He knows I'll win. Maybe not this fight. Maybe not the next fight. But I will win. Eventually. It will happen.
can't run. Uh, this is the annoying part, isn't it? And I can't sneak run. I can't use sneak run. It's The enemies are too strong. And thinking about it, I'm pretty sure custom 2 is better to have than getting uh, float shoes equipped. Well, float shoes... No, air shoes. Air shoes. Air shoes would be nice if I get trapped, but... Honestly, he doesn't do that move too often. I mean, it's annoying when he does, but... I think having custom 2 is way better to have. Come on. This is the annoying part about this grind, isn't it? No running. No running for me. Time to reset. No good. Can't run. Time to reset the game. Keep it going. Oh, come on. Base has got to show back up sometime. He can't hide forever. He's just a coward. Come on, base. You're gonna be here somewhere. You can't hide from me forever. Uh, it's no good. We can't run. But why, though? Why can't I run? Maybe if I go the other way and just maybe hang out on this side. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe base is just on the upper part of of the <laughs> of the net I'm hanging out on the bottom layer no I think he's just hiding out on the upper layer and just chilling doing nothing just watch me wander around well, all I need to do is just look up until base gets bored run from this fight yes I can finally I feel like this fight I don't get to run away come on base he's here somewhere feels like my RNG is a little bit weird 
I'm actually gonna make a save now. I know it probably doesn't matter, but I need to try something. Maybe my RNG is a little bit wonked. Kind of like this is the GBA Fire Emblem games, you know? Like, the RNG is fixed sort of thing. Not fixed, but there's the seed, and every time you reset, it's still the same RNG. You just need to do slightly different things to change it. That's probably not what this is, but I don't know. I guess whatever makes me feel better. <laughs> I guess. Oh, come on. Where are you, base? I get why... You don't want to make it easy to run from these late game enemies like this, even when you have max, max HP. Man, I wish I could guarantee it. I wish Sneak Run worked. You know what? This is easy. I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. Good. Uh, this would be harder to dodge. Come on, base. Where are you? You're here somewhere. This is just like Battle Network. This is like Beast Man all over again. They just don't want to fight me. I know it's like a 6%, but still... When it's the one fight you need to find, it gets tedious. Let's see. There he is. Okay, what is the first plan? I can Tomahawk. And I think I will. We'll try to confuse him, and then we'll try to hit him with Fire Hit. Okay. I gotta... I need to save that. I need to save that for big damage. You know what? I think I need a safety net. Come on. Fine. I did say I needed a safety net. L, M, N. Cactus dance. Of course I got hit. Okay. Start with number soul. It's invis. Invis. There we go. Invis. He's still confused. He's attacking. We have bodyguard. I am making sure this works. I'm still Invis. He's attacking.
Go. That's it. Oh my god. You get nothing for it. Except... The symbol on the top right. That's what you get out of it. And with that, we... We're basically done. We're basically done. Um... How about... It can be a casual. Let's try this. Let's see if we can find anyone. I'm only trying once. Oh, wait. I just realized. I actually can't. I forgot. I still haven't renewed that. Never mind. Okay, this ain't happening. Sorry. All right. Let's go fight Nebula Gray. I forgot. I haven't renewed my online yet. <laughs> I need to renew it. All right. I guess the last thing to do is to fight Nebula Gray. Like I said, skipping the crossover points. Again, basically to do it, it requires you to pay 20 bucks for the online service. At least if you're playing on Switch. And battle people online. So I hope you have people that you know that you can talk to to do that. Let's go and fight the final boss again. If I'm correct, it's the same stuff. In terms of fights, just more HP. I don't think there's any extra dialogue. There should be an extra end screen for 100%ing it sort of thing. Can I run? I should have closed the nebula door. I should close the nebula door. Just to make running from these fights a little easier. Granted, I'll get the full health back anyway, but... Still kind of annoying. I should have definitely fixed that. Alright. Nebula Gray Omega. 4,000 HP. Okay. I think we need to go with a similar strategy where I need to make sure to save my base and my... Uh, save my uh, plus 30, plus 10s for the good stuff. That's on me. That is on me too. Too bad confusing him is not going to do anything. Okay. Yeah, I need to get 200 damage in. Ow. 400 damage, and he was on screen this time. Okay. I just got to use something up. Man. I don't even know if that's like the best chip for this. Maybe there's something better. Okay, we're saving that. Let's use this up. Oh, you know what? I should probably have. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have air shoes. We'll try it again, as is. Try it again. But yeah, with 4,000 HP, we gotta make sure to use up what I can. And I already know Cactus Stance does work on him. Because you think it, there's like a bottomless pit and it's treated as a whole. No, it's treated as ground. At least for Cactus Stance. 
So let's try it again. This is the last thing to do. Come on, let me run. Let's see. I could start with Tomahawk, but I think I might save that. So I think I want to use all this up. And I got to make it count. can have my safety net, and then we'll do this. Oh, my safety net. Good. Wow. Tomahawk sold with these don't matter. So let's get number soul going. Let's use this up. I kinda wanna save Tomahawk for when he destroys my panels. Like now. We have base. We have cactus dance. Cactus dance is. I can't use base yet. We're using cactus dance. Just gonna spam it. Never mind. Okay. I only have one more turn. And we're saving bodyguard for the plus 50. So. Please work. Okay, that. Oh, he wasn't directly in the middle, maybe? Okay. I don't, I don't think I'm making it. Try it. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Uh, let's go Tomahawk right now. And I might as well throw in Shadow Man and use it up. The other... I could try throwing in... a different program of Vince than Bodyguard. If I weren't... If I wasn't going to use Bodyguard, what would be a good option? No, not that. That's not good enough. No... Uh... No. 
poison Pharaoh? I don't know, but maybe. Hits three times. That's six. That's six hundred damage. That is six hundred. Big noise is four hundred. I mean, it's not as much as, like, Bodyguard, but the problem with Bodyguard is that because it doesn't stun him. I might consider throwing in the Larkman one and replace Bodyguard. I'm just gonna continue as is, not that I can save anyway. We're gonna try it again one more time. But I might swap bodyguard out. After a while, I'm probably gonna have to just Mega Buster it. No, I, I was gonna try a couple Toad Mans. Okay. I could number soul right now. I could try guardian. Colonel's not gonna help me. It's just. What's that? That's the best way to handle it. Number Soul? Now let's use the Scully. That's on me. Alright. I can get rid of two chips this way. Still don't have enough bodyguard. Mm. Not liking this. I had a feeling he was gonna use this one. Okay. That that was just a really bad attempt. Damage does he actually do to me? Ah, uh, come on, let me run, please. I wonder if being able, the likelihood to run is actually not based on the viruses, but the location you're at. I mean, if it's a Navi, you can't run, but I, w I wonder if it's more location-based than virus-based. It's just a thought. Because I'm having no issues running away from these guys. When some of these enemies, I did have trouble. Okay, what do we got? Alright, let's use this up. I'm gonna play this carefully. I wanna make sure all of my stuff hits. Oh, come on. 400 damage per hit? Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. Dark Toad Man, get this out of the way. Oh my god, come on. That, okay, that was on me. Whatever. <sighs> 
So, I can put in anti-electric and anti-fire. They would both work. I have seen him use Dark Lance, though, so you can use anti-wood. Does he have a water move? It would be dark white. Oh, it would be dark white shot. I doubt he does. Because his dark moves are the same as the dark chips you get. And I've never seen him use a water move. It would be dark white shot and that'd be impossible to dodge. The game has to give you at least a way to dodge. At least, when I say A way, I mean, like, if there's no panels destroyed or anything. Okay. Let's use some of this up. Your raid. Let's use this up. I guess I could just kind of hang out in the back. And just wait for him to go back to the center. Your raid. Come on. Maybe if I'm expecting to get hit, maybe I should have leader raid later. Okay. Oh, come on. I. I... Oh, there's Meteor. This is not good. Yep. Okay. Let's change this up. As much as I like Custom 2, I think I need to get, you know, let's, let's remove a lot of stuff. As much as I like Custom 2, I think I want air shoes. Is there no way I can have both? No, there is not. It is impossible to have both. So... Let's get some things rearranged. No, attack max. Charge max. up. What's that? Okay, like, I don't know what else to throw in. I don't think I can really throw anything else in. Actually, no, I do have something. There. There. And again, the other option is throwing in the Larkman program advance. So I think Mega Man will just get angry whenever he gets hit because it deals 400 damage. It is such a huge number that he's just gonna get angry and it's a times two. While I don't wanna plan for him to get angry, I should consider it. If it's like leader raid, I should consider not having it in the front or save it for, you know, after like the first attack. And I think with the base chip, I think it was only half of it hit Nebula Gray, but that was because of the bad scenario with the, the hole in the ground. Okay. Let's use this up.
Okay, there's one. I guess I'll end this and then use these. Alright. Number soul it is. And we're just gonna hope that I got better chips. Okay, well, that failed. Oh, I want to save this. L, M, and N. I can leader raid and get rid of that. Good. There was no escape for me there. All right. So I have wasted number soul so i better save this well i'm saving this for the plus uh the uh plus 30. i need to get rid of stuff so let's do this tomahawk To, wish I waited a second, but oh, this is not actually a fire move. All right. Okay. Um. Honestly, if I want to play this safe, I need to use up my last. I, I need to use the, this up. Keep the healing going. Don't use up the chips. That's not a good sign. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Right. Come on. Okay, you can't hit me. Oh, I missed. Okay, fine. Dark Toad Man. Use this up. Here's the thing. I probably could have just stayed as Tomahawk and played it like completely safe and just try to Mega Buster it. It would have been a slow run, but I probably could have done it. Maybe. With the power of air shoes, I wouldn't be trapped. Man, the difference two extra chips can sometimes make, huh? So now I don't need to worry about with Tomahawk Soul, I don't have to worry about potentially uh, changing the, gra uh, the tiles to grass just to get rid of holes. So if I wanted to, I could start with it. Not. 
Not right now. Yeah, I wanted to get that first sword in. Okay. I could invis right away. I think I need to save Tomahawk for when I need it. Okay. Okay. Use up my Invis, let's fire it. it's better to actually just use the Guardian. So set it back here. Never mind. Okay. I timed it wrong, but it was... It was a idea. I'm gonna save in this. Hold on. Yeah. Or I was gonna save Tomahawk Soul because the, the holes actually stopped this fire move. Okay, good. Times two. That's, that's helpful. Okay. I don't have enough for bodyguard. I think it's time to try to get some healing done. And let's use leader raid. I could try to save that for the times two, but I... It's quite safe. Come on. So if the hand will grab you. That's... The hand just grabs you. Okay. It crushes your skull with his iron grip. Okay, I get it. Uh, I thought, you know, I'm I could tank that, but no. No. Once once he used his grabby hands, that was it. I think it's he only does that once he's low on health. Maybe under a thousand HP. I don't know. That was a good use of my base chip though. That was a really good use. You know what, I might have to consider. Consider that. Okay, we have... We have most of it. Okay. Wasn't planning... Well, I was hoping not to get hit, but if I did, I can use it. Alright, use these up.
Maybe the strategy of actually utilizing the times two after getting hit is not the worst idea. But the problem is, I need to actually get good at dodging <laughs> most of his attacks. Honestly, every time he does, like, the, the Earthbreaker or the Grabby Hands, I never see it coming. There doesn't seem to be a wind-up to it. So because I don't really see a wind-up, I never expect it. chips this way. However, I do not want to get hit. Not for these chips. Okay. Yeah, I gotta remember... There we go. Oh, come on. Fire move. I could number soul, or I could get rid of more chips. Never mind. <sighs> I think this is the hardest fight. The hardest final boss right now. I had, like, let's be honest, Life Virus, Gospel, and uh, Alpha, I had, like, no trouble with. And Alpha's the only one that actually had, like, a proper, like, Omega form. I mean, Gospel had a hard mode variant, but even then, that wasn't that bad. Duo got a lot harder with the Omega variant, but it didn't take me that long. You know, it did take me a couple tries, though. No, wait, no. Probably more than I... That I'm thinking. But so far, Nebula Gray Omega is actually kind of hard. It doesn't help that he deals like 400 damage per hit. It doesn't help. Alright, let's try this again. Let's use up Dark Toad, man. Let's try to get, you know, a couple hits in. Worth it. Worth it. Oh, come on. I hate it when it, like, skips one. Okay. I almost want to save my invis. Okay. This is actually a good one. I'm saving it. I have another lap before he does something. Okay. I have to number man. I have to do it. And then we'll invis. I have another one in here. Uh. Yeah, I'm not getting hit by that. I want to save this. Let's use my Scullies and my Fire Hits. I wasted that. Okay. We have base. This should go well. Oh, it targeted Dark Mega Man again. Dang it. I keep forgetting that's treated as an actual target. Okay. So... Tomahawk Soul. Okay. 
No, get rid of these two. I might have to hold the fort. Uh. Oh, meteors. Okay, no safe spots. Yeah, I gotta use this. Nope, invis. I'm using invis. Okay, good. Uh, fine, fire hit. enough. Of course he used meteors. Why wouldn't he? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But it's just not enough. Not enough. Swapping to air shoes was the better option, though. I think I am getting better at dodging the fire breath one. Or, I, well, the non-elemental fire breath, I guess. It's not actual fire. I'm trying to think if, swap, if using Colonel Soul would actually help me with something, and I don't think it would. I think I'm better off using using the actual guardian. Okay. No, let's save that for when I need it. I really have to use the Mega Buster. I really have to utilize it. Dark Toad Man. I could probably get two hits out of it. get two hits out of it. Okay, this is actually good. Let's see. I don't need Invis just yet. There's got to be a pattern I'm missing. Number soul, and I have to end this. Like, I am not going to make it. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. Alright, what do we got? I could tomahawk at any time. But I think... I think I want a cactus dance. I gotta wait. Yeah. Okay. Let's have my safety net. And let's use these up. It's safety net. Invis. Damn it! <sighs> Never move left or right when that those attacks are happening. Let's try it again. We're gonna beat Nebula Gray today. We're doing it. Nothing. 
nothing at all. Get past this. With the power of friendship, my friends will delay the Nebula 4 for me to get to Nebula Grey. Because this is like a Kingdom Hearts game. My friends are my power! Why do you think Mega Man can double soul? Alright. Try it again. Okay. L. Oh, wait. Uh, mm. Okay. L, M, and N. Let's just use Cactus Dance immediately. Get it out of the way. I'll deal with the fast gauge. You have to hit so hard. That's not gonna help me. Okay. Um. No, let's use up more chips. Oh, I used it too much. Oops. There we go. Made it work. I don't think it's time to use my Invis. Okay, that was on me. I forget, like, whenever he uses Dark Thunder, he lo he's- Dark Mega Man stays there for a long time. And I think it's really only Dark Thunder where he just stays there. I'm trying to- I'm trying to pay attention to see if he has a pattern. So far, I can't tell if it- if some of his moves are HP based. Or if it's all, um, just a certain amount of turns sort of thing. The first two attacks seems to be the non-elemental fire. Then he summons Dark Mega Man to do A attack. Then does he go back to Dark Fire? Or does he go into one of the Earth Cracker moves? Or sh whatever that's called. Earth Shaker, Earth Breaker, whatever it is. And then Grabby Hands? Or does he do... Non-Elemental Fire twice, Dark Mega Man. Non-Elemental Fire twice, Dark Mega Man, Earth Breaker, Grabby Hands. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how he works. He has a pattern. There we go, there's that. Let's use these up. Never mind, he went straight for Dark Mega Man here. Okay. Let's use a Dark Toad Man. Uh, let's wait. Yeah, I I don't know. Okay. I got two of those in. Number man. Let's use a fire hit. in number soul. Let's use base. This should hit him. Good. Okay. A 
if I go Cactus Dance. That's just rude. Okay. So I'm not gonna be having Dark Number Man nor Bodyguard anytime soon. So let's go Tomahawk. Let's... Anti-damage. Leer Raid. That's... Okay. Let's try it. Oh, come on. That's on me. It looked like he was gonna do, like, break the tiles. Either that or grabby hands. Maybe I should have started with Invis. Or just, I don't know. I don't know what I should have done. Like... This is actually... It, it sucks that he deals like 400 damage. It is ridiculous how much damage he could deal. Granted, the little fire pillar in between does like 200. But he, he deals so much damage. It's ridiculous. Granted, it's enough to get a times two. Mega Man gets so angry that he got hit by 400 damage. I mean, I would too. Okay. Hear me out. I get hit with 400 damage. This jumps up to 800. But it has to be from the bigger hit. Sometimes getting hit is probably just to deal way more damage is probably a good idea. Okay. Let's use this up. Ah, uh, that's on me! I don't know what happened there. I panicked. Gonna do anything. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, that was me. Eh, that was on me. I don't know why I was. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, if there is a pattern for him, I don't necessarily see it. Because sometimes I thought he would use non-elemental fire twice and then Dark Mega Man, but I've seen him use Dark Mega Man on the second turn. I don't know if he has a pattern. But honestly, if I could get a times two on either leader raid or base, and base ideally has like some added points to it. That's a lot of damage right there. Base especially. Base would do base is like the best example of getting at times two. Okay. What? Oh, why did I grab Invis? I don't need it yet. I should have saved it. Oh, that was dumb of me. Oh. That's a reset if I ever saw one. There's... I 
I'm not getting the times two. So let's go to base. Or number man, I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, you can't hit me. Before Dark Mega Man shows up. Alright. Next. I don't have Bodyguard, and I'm saving Bodyguard for this anyway. Let's get rid of Shadow Man. Tomahawk. Let me use these up. Okay, if I hang out back here, I could get the healing in. Oh, oh no. Guardian. And that's not going to help me. Okay, there it is. Guardian kind of locked me in. I used it at the wrong time. And the only way he was probably going to hit me with that is if I, uh, no, if he went for Dark Sword or the big Earth Shaker move. So far, it has to be done today. This has to be done. I don't remember how the Gregar Falzar fight is in comparison to this, but so far, this is the hardest one. Save Number Man for a second. Come on. And I don't even have a good use for it, dang it. Come on. Okay. I'm making my use for it. I'm probably not gonna make it anyway. Was that a good use of it? Probably not. But I just... I'm probably not gonna make it anyway. Okay, whatever. Dark Toad Man. In this. Using my other end is. Eh, 
And there it is. Yep. Okay. So the idea with the dark non-elemental fire, I noticed, is that it'll jump corners if you're moving too fast. So if you take it just a little bit slow. That's how I was able to dodge it a few times, but sometimes I just gotta go fast and it doesn't work. Still nothing. So, yeah, I have not had trouble fi uh, running away from any of these viruses, so it makes me think it's area-based. Anyway. Nebula Grey, I have come to bargain. Like I have my safety net. However, I can get a times two leader raid. Do I? No, I'm not going to use my times two. Not on that. Even though it would be good. It would be a good use of it. So you see some. Okay. The, the reason I didn't go for it is because if I wanted to use up a times two, I want to use it for base. Grab Guardian. Use both up. I'll try to. Oh. Gonna place on his side. Oh, no! Wait. Oh, okay. It doesn't actually spawn him. Number man it is. Save the rest. Yeah, base. No times two, but at this point, uh, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have saved it for times two. That was a waste, but hey, it was a safety net. Guard. Let's, let's just go for it. Um, Tomahawk Soul. And, and. No, I didn't do it right. Wasted that. Socks. Okay. 
Okay. All right. I'm out of. I'm basically out of chips. The smart move would be to just wait, stay in Tomahawk, and stay on the grass tiles as much as possible. And Mega Buster it. I had the invis. I had it, but I didn't press A fast enough. If I actually got Cactus Dance to work, would I have won that one? Would I have won? The world may never know. But that was a decent, like, end, like, setup. Just being Tomahawk the entire time. And just try to heal up off the grass panels when I can. And Mega Buster it. <coughs> hmm. And also, Cactuball sucks when, uh, when you don't use Cactus Dance. I really just have it for Cactus Dance. And even then, it's just an okay one. But I don't know what else to, like, use it for. Alright. We'll just start with it. We'll start with Dark Toad, man. Use it up. Yeah, eat the hit. Whatever. That was a mistake. I mean, I should have used Dark Foot Toe Man twice. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, well, I can't utilize the times two. Yeah. Whatever. Fine. Uh, okay. I've been on this fight for over an hour. About an hour now, I bet. This is just about getting good, more or less. I mean, I could swap Cactus Dance for something else. Not sure what that other thing would be, but I could. Anyway. Well, um... This is a interesting start. Dark Mega Man. I got a number man right now. I got to. Okay. Well, there's the other one. We have Muramasa. No, wait, we have we have Bodyguard. 
I think I'm gonna save that for Dark Number Man. Yes, so, Shadow Man it is. Use that one in this. Okay. Right at the right time. Okay, what's next? L M N. Wait. No, 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 no. Let's use this up. It's a little weird, but I'm trying something. Okay. we use L, M, and N. Yep. Okay. We wait. Okay. Uh, most of the mist. Wait. Uh, I need to... Can't tell what he's going for. Yeah, it was this move. Good. Use that up. Dark Toad Man. Idea. <sighs> Times two. This is scary. But with this should be it. That's it. I saved the times two for base. Oh my god. Actually, that probably would have been enough even without the times two. I can't skip this. But that's okay. We finally made it. Oh no, I can't skip this. Good. Yep. Oh my god. That was... That was a long fight. That took a long time for me to beat. But that was Battle Network 5. My final time, at least in game time, if I remember correctly, it's less than Battle Network 4. I almost want to look at the final times. But yeah, so I guess final thoughts. When I compare this to Battle Network 4, 
in a lot of what this is way better than battle network 4 obviously that no question however post game in this game in some ways felt like a more annoying slog in one aspect in the fact where it feels like there's way too many roadblocks blocking your path forward in nebula way too quickly honestly if they got rid of like the i i think they need just need to get rid of like one or two get rid of one or two more roadblocks and so that way you could get to nebula six like very quickly because getting access to nebula six would let you do more things i guess yeah i just felt like this game had too many like barriers for you to pass in post game where it's just like come on i want to go i want to get at least get to the final area and then i want to like do all the rounds but like for example one of them is get all mega chips but to get all mega chips you need to get all program advances to open a door and if you don't know any of the lotto number to any of the lotto number codes you gotta get max hp just to get one of those doors open but and and then once you get to nba 6 you gotta realize oh i have to s rank my teammates so i can open these doors so i can fight chaos unison where's with battle network 4 beat the game three times just to get access to the final area now beating the game multiple times in battle network 4 is a slog it's a it drains you way more than whatever this game does it's just something to think about with battle network 5 also with battle network 5 nebula area really should have better mystery day rewards but other than that way better game 54 hours and two minutes in game anyway yeah we see this i'm just gonna let the text speed up I don't know if skipping it is a good idea. It is kind of weird how this game, if you play Colonel, Proto Man literally just makes a cameo appearance. So in some ways it makes more sense to play Proto Man because that, but then again, it's like Proto Man's here to save the day and then he's out, you know? In some ways it makes sense for both of them, but I don't know, this is just the one I played. But this one does lead into six a little bit better. With the fact that you find out that barrel was working for Wily. Okay. And we should have a. Okay. I mean. Not my favorite one. It's just the sprites doing their vic uh, basically get animation or get item pose. Not my favorite. This one is pretty weak. But I got it. One other thing. Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. Finished. Should be complete. Totally earned that. But whatever. Alright. Anyway. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing... Well. As of... Normally I do my streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. However. Because... Tomorrow's Friday. I don't really want to do a... Start a new thing yet. I'm going to skip stream tomorrow. And because Monday is Memorial Day... I will pro I probably won't end up streaming on Monday. We'll see. That one's a hit or miss. I'll probably be back on Tuesday. Maybe I'll be playing Thousand Year Door, depending on if I get it. If I don't, we'll do like Link to the Past Landom randomizer until I get Thousand Year Door. It's up in the air until I get either of those th until later. So we'll see. Anyway, that's the plan. Have a good day. Later.